Welcome to Hoop It All Basic Techniques, a series of four lessons that lay a foundation for understanding the relationship between our embroidery machine hoops and Hoop It All hoops. In this lesson, you will see a variety of ways that our embroidery machine stitching fields fit within the stitching field of Hoop It All hoops. Understanding stitching field measurements, as illustrated in Lesson 1, and how embroidery machine hoop stitching fields fit into the stitching area of Hoop It All hoops helps us to plan and execute our oversized embroidery projects. This lesson builds on what we learned about the dimensions of our hoop stitching field in Lesson 1. As you see the examples in this lesson, you will see how you can create oversized embroidery designs using the Hoop It All hoop by splitting the design into the size of your embroidery machine stitching field. Just to review from Lesson 1, Knowing the measurements of your embroidery machine stitching field and the hoop it all stitching field will help you to visualize how your embroidery designs can be arranged in the hoop it all hoop, taking full advantage of the extended stitching field area. If you have not yet done so, please measure your hoop templates and note the measurements in a place for future reference. This illustration is probably the easiest to understand. This picture illustrates the style of hoop it all hoop that is almost twice as long as its corresponding embroidery machine hoop. Therefore, using the hoop it all hoop, we can create a large embroidery design without needing to re-hoop when stitching it, and the designs will be perfectly aligned when stitched. In addition to placing designs side by side in a hoop it all hoop, we can also plan a design so that the stitching fields overlap each other. As illustrated here, I can stitch one large design in the center of the long hoop and then stitch another large design to each side of the center design. Examples of projects using this type of layout would be table runners and placemats, the back yoke of a garment, the hem of a garment, creating border fabric, stitching the border of a quilt, or creating a wall hanging. This is an example of how a large embroidery design may be stitched starting at one end of the hoop and progressively stitched to the other end. The individual design utilizes most of the large hoop, so the overall design is split into three parts. I have used the progressive overlapping of hoops for stitching lettering on quilts. Embroidering the border of a quilt is another project idea. When you use a double wide hoop, you can put the same design in each quadrant of the hoop. By rotating the hoop at all hoop after stitching each quadrant, you don't need to change the orientation of the design in your embroidery machine. This is a great way to create a quilt block or to use the hoop at all hoop for machine quilting. Because it easily slides on it rail, its rails in the bracket, the hoop at all hoop allows for aligning your design anywhere along the side of the hoop. This allows for a lot of flexibility when planning your designs. As we will see in Lesson 3, the center of the hoop can be embroidered if you split the design appropriately. In the Basic Techniques for Digitizing series of lessons, instructions for splitting designs using embroidery software will be provided. In the meantime, this is a good illustration of how a medium hoop stitching field fits inside the hoop at all stitching field. In this lesson, you were able to see how the stitching fields of your embroidery machine hoops are used multiple times within the hoop it all hoop to complete one extra large design. The more you use your hoop it all hoop, the more creative ideas you will have for using it. As with almost everything, practice makes perfect. The next lesson in this series of basic techniques is lesson three, understanding the center overlap area of a double wide hoop. The fourth lesson illustrates steps to planning your project without using digitizing software. The second series of lessons, Basic Techniques for Digitizing, begins instruction on using software to design and plan your embroidery project. I welcome your questions, feedback, and ideas for more lessons. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. I have been a home sewist for over 40 years. In 2003, I established my machine embroidery business, American Stitchworks, and I enjoy teaching sewing, machine embroidery, and computer digitized, digitizing techniques. I have enjoyed using the Hoop It All Hoops to create a variety of projects, and I hope you will have similar success.